We now know why a man allegedly attacked a fast food worker. Clayton County Police tell us Kendall Thomas was trying to rob the crystals on Terra Boulevard in Jonesboro when he stabbed a worker seven times. That worker is recovering in the hospital. Thomas didn't get away with anything but a fast pass to jail. No push, no pressure, no nothing. It's all a hoax, folks. It's all a big hoax. I'm Chris Pallone in Washington, and the first hearing of the official impeachment inquiry against President Trump gets underway a little later this morning with the acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire, going before the intelligence committees of both the House and Senate. He will face tough questioning about why he did not turn over that whistleblower report to Congress within seven days as required by law. Meanwhile, President Trump is returning to Washington today from the United Nations in New York. And now, NBC News has confirmed that a majority of the House of Representatives now favor some sort of action regarding impeachment against the president. Too many of our people live in fear. That's not right. Impeachment isn't the only focus of top Dems on Capitol Hill. Georgia Representative John Lewis, joined by Speaker Pelosi and activists, are pushing gun control. They held a rally yesterday in D.C. calling on lawmakers to make change.